Hi everyone, my name is Brittany and I am a PhD candidate in environmental engineering at the Colorado School of Mines. In this video, I will introduce you to a cool new type of water treatment we are developing with funding from the National Science Foundation. To help me tell the story, this is my friend Pitter Patter. We'll call him Pat for short. Our story begins with a natural stream. When left untouched, nature is pretty resilient and the stream provides its own water treatment. To show you how this happens, we need to look underneath the stream. Here, you can see the bare soil, but there is also groundwater filling in the small pockets between soil particles below the groundwater table. Immediately underneath the stream is a small zone where the stream water and the groundwater mix. This is called the hyperreic zone, and water from the stream can cycle in and out of the hyperreic zone, which acts as a kind of water filter. Let's zoom in a little closer and invite Pat to show us how this works. In this first example, Pat is a dirty water droplet, but he flows along in the stream, missing the opportunity for treatment in the hyperreic zone. However, if Pat were flowing through the hyperreic zone, the contaminants could be filtered out, leaving him squeaky clean. But both of those examples are overly simplified because stream water can cycle in and out of the hyperreic zone, that's how Pat, as a droplet of stream water, can undergo natural treatment. At the Colorado School of Mines, we are developing an engineered hyperreic zone that harnesses this natural process. Our goal is to increase the cycling of water between the stream and the hyperreic zone so more stream water is treated. We can do this by modifying the hyperreic zone with things like strategically placed rocks that force water in and out of the hyperreic zone filter. Engineered hyperreic zones could be a useful approach for treating stream water in cities, where streams often have degraded water quality due to things like stormwater runoff. This research will help us create a future with cleaner urban streams.